What's up, everyone? Mrs. Stiga Girl is here with a shout out. This is Twitch.tv Alchemical Solution. This is his Twitch channel, and I highly recommend you checking him out because he is an awesome Supreme Commander 2 player. And I will have him linked in the descriptions down below. So give him some thumbs up and like him right now. Welcome back, everyone. Mr. Still Your Girl is bringing you another Supreme Commander 2 cast. And I must say, I do not remember where I found this because just as the name that popped up here in the bottom corner, drink, 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 I had a drink. I had a lovely glass of whiskey and ginger ale. I am not promoting drinking, if that is what you're thinking. It's just a thing that happened today. So anyhow, I have no idea where I found this replay. I think it was just chilling in my archives. And I am sorry if you sent this in. And I apologize if you're not getting credit for it. But thank you to wh whoever did it. So I must say it's an awesome game. Thank you very much for sending it to me. I had to cast it when I saw it. I was like, whoa, how did I miss this one? Anyhow, um, in the last Supreme Commander 2 video, I asked you all to comment for a tournament. I'm sorry I'm talking so much. I'm trying to make it quick. I asked for you to comment for a tournament. I needed 10 comments, and that goal was achieved. So congratulations, everyone. I am pretty sure, if all goes according to plan, that there will be a Supreme Commander 2 tournament coming up. It will not be as big as the last one, because I do not have the time I had last time. In fact, I didn't even have the time I had for the last one. It was um, amazing how I pulled that off. And it was amazing how the players pulled it off. But anyhow, the details will be in an upcoming video. And I will be sure to let you all know that it will be happening very shortly. But anyhow, to the game. It is on Van Hor Horn Core. It is a 3v3. So let us introduce the players. First of all, we got Nuclear Pizza spawning in as his customary... Is that brown or orange? Man, I am colorblind as all heck. I think that is Poo Poo Brown. He is usually Poo Poo Brown, everybody. Or orange. But I'm going to say he is brown today. It is Nuclear Pizza, Pizza spawning in as the Aeon Commander dropping down a research station. He is two research stations. He is guaranteed a victory in 30 minutes or less. Or your money is back, everyone. And their air player, the guy who I just shouted out, for his Twitch.tv channel in his alchemical solution, dropping down a double air factory. He is the purple Aeon Commander, and that is awesome. He is already going to scout, and so is Team 2's um, air player. Now let's introduce the Drink, Drink, Drink. I believe that is actually Evil Gummy Bear, and I love that name, Evil Gummy Bear. He was... A pretty cool guy back when I used to play. He is the Yellow Cyber Commander dropping down a triple research station build. So that is going to be something to reckon with. Good luck, Team 2. This is Team 1 over here in my... Where my cursor is going over in my left hand side. Being scouted very well by Team 2. Look at that pro scout. Team 2 scout jumped checked it out, moved away, and is getting a free scout here in the south. That is amazing. He is definitely definitely going to lose this one, but he got all the intel he needed by using that scout in the north, and then scouting all the way in the bottom. Very, very well done. And it appears that Team 1 scout has been seen. So let's introduce the players for Team 2. We got Kitty. Oh my goodness, it is Kitty. Is that Kitty Litter? I hope that is Kitty Litter because he is, was in OSS with me. An awesome guy, awesome player. Very, very good at this game. He is the Red Aeon Commander. He is doing a double research station build as that scout gets blasted into oblivion. He sees everything he needs to see. He probably saw down south and he definitely saw a little bit of Kitty's base. And the air player for Team 2, it is the one, the only, Alpha Hex. He is the blue UEF commander. Ha, com he is definitely going to 
command the skies with his skill level and being UEF that in the way he is definitely going back and forth and having both of these engineers um, help out with building that is very very good that is that is just going to get a huge Air Force just like that the UEF are so good in the air so good luck team one on that one and we got Ares spawning in as the orange UEF commander doing a double research station opener and a land factory dropping down a whole lot of eco but then again it is three minutes and 33 seconds in at the time that I looked at this dropping down more eco Ares is a very good player so this is going to be a very very good match and as you can see Alpha Hex is trying to take out all of Alchemal Solutions airplanes he is just trying to get in there and be like you must all die but Alchemal Solution is very smart in moving his planes away and in fact killing off some scouts getting a couple couple of little bit of research point little research points for that those kills and keeping his plane safe and drink 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 aka a evil gummy bear killed three tanks and sucking up that yummy yummy mass trying to help out his early economy which is the right thing to do and I must say drinking oh no it's not drink it's drink 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 okay well I'm sorry guys like I said I've had a little bit of whiskey so my perceptions are a little bit off not too bad thankfully because I am not gonna overdo it I am not condoning drinking or saying it is a good thing at all I just had a little bit because why the heck not and casting one so and ironically a guy named drink Durink drink is in the match Dropping down a nasty long-range artillery station. I like how he has a hold fire. I love that trick. I do that one. Whenever I get the chance, I wait until I get about three, and then I blast my opponents into oblivion. It is so painful for them. And it appears Kitty is holding off quite well with that point defense. And is there a tactical, oh, a tactical missile launcher on that land factory trying to keep things are being built up front and I like this Ares has a land gantry trying to get a fatty a fat boy out so very nice and it appears that drink 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 has begun the bombardment of the ba of Ares base so very nice job there by evil gummy bear putting down a high damage air tower just in case to keep any of those pesky UEF bombers out of there. And Nuclear Pizza is going in hard against Kitty. He is building up in front and insisting that he has these two forward mass extractors putting down a, an anti-air tower out of the range of these... No, it is not out of the range of the tactical missile launcher. So unfortunately for, for Nuclear Pizza, that needs to be constantly repaired and a bunch of fish deuce are blasting away kitty's acu trying to take down that and now changing the focus to the long range point defense trying to take down those shields and look what is walking in that fat boy is being hurt very very badly by those long range artillery stations doing it putting some work in on that guy right there, that poor little fat boy. And is that a recycler being built? An OP recycler definitely going to suck up some fat boys. And what are these planes doing? Nothing, nothing really. And a, wow, Kitty lost a, a uh, factory. And Kitty is rushing nuclear pizza. That I wish I had dual screen to watch what's going on here. This fat boy doing some damage, being sucked away, but Ares is insisting that it lives by repairing it. And as you can see, the repair rate is a little bit fat higher than, than the rate of attrition. But a second recycler is going to make sure that is, not a, that is not a problem. And Kitty Litter successfully dislodging Nuclear Pizza from his area that is very well played by kitty leader i'm so sorry i'm not able to see everything here 
And Alcomo's solution just doing a little dance as that Bat Boy is being eaten away. And will Alpha Hex be able to bomb Alcomo's solution into submission? No, he will not be able to right now. And that Bat Boy is gone. And free mass there for drink, drink, drink. Um, that is very nasty for for Ares because Fat Boys have a decent range, but so do these recyclers, and that recycler needs to be finished. It is being finished. No, never mind, everybody. So these long-range artillery stations aren't really destroying anything just yet. They're just being extremely annoying and softening up the Fat Boys, and a wave of research throwing out, going out there, and it's, it's, it appears that Ares is getting the shield generator, trying to hold out, and Kitty has broken through, I just can't believe this, that Kitty Litter is, I think that's Kitty Litter, is getting up in Pizza's place, he is saying, I don't want that pizza in 30 minutes or left, less, I'm gonna get that crap for free, sir. And it appears that Alchemal Solution said cut his losses in the air because against a UEF player it is going to be very difficult as Alpha Hex is dropping down a Gantry. I think that is going, we're going to see AC1Ks in the sky. He's got a whole lot of research stations and I think he is firmly in the lead in the sky here. All he needed was two air factories against Alchemal Solutions Air Factories. That is an interesting thing going on here. And lots of Harvog saying no to any bombing runs. So that is a very good thing to do. And Ares shifting his focus on the double teamers up here. Alchemal Solution and Nuclear Pizza are double teaming this front here. So Kitty Litter is going to be in some trouble, but not really since he's got that overshield on his commander. And Alpha Hex is researching like there's no tomorrow. And so is Drink, 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 Drink. And Alpha Hex is bombing some mass extractors. Those mass extractors have been out on the field for a while. So those are a bigger loss than if they were brand new on the field. So this... These air towers are making it very difficult for Alpha Hex to micro out of there and keeping his planes alive, considering the great placement there. If he gets anywhere near this one, he gets shot by this guy. Gets anywhere near this one, he gets shot by that one. So that is very good placement. And lots of mass extractors being destroyed there. And Kitty Litter just chilling there in the center. And it appears Kitty it is do, it had done the wise, this wise thing and gotten the heck out of there. He teleported here for sure and is trying to keep his commander alive because he sees what is coming. A joint attack by Alchemal Solution and Nuclear Pizza. That is going to be a very difficult thing because Nuclear Pizza has the overshield on the Shotches. The Shotches is going to rip through everything. And it appears those long-range artillery stations have destroyed an experimental land gantry for Ares. And that is a painful loss because those things are very, very expensive. And Harvog's trying to cut through the peace shields, but having a bit of a tr bit of trouble because peace shields are just so darn good. And there's a three, there are three fat boys. Fat boys cut through smaller units like there is, there is no tomorrow and these long range point defense um point defense excuse me long range artillery stations are going after those fatties those fatties days are number numbered because they cannot micro out of the way fast enough but those peace shields are definitely helping and as you can see up north like i said pizza and alchemal solution are going to try to get through and they are definitely cutting through and destroying lots of Kitty's forces. Alchemal Solution is trying to rush with his Harvogs. And if he doesn't have the proper research to do it, it's going to be very, 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 very difficult to get there. Because Fat Boys, like I said, do a great deal of damage against the regular unit types, not experimentals. They do a good amount of damage against experimentals, but against 
regular unit tights like Harvogs, especially Harvogs, since they are kind of squishy, lots of damage occurs to them, and they die very, very, very fast. And Alpha Hex being very ambitious with the experimental builds, uh, those AC-1Ks, are, there's going to be a fleet of AC-1Ks on the map. I was going to say he's a little bit too ambitious, but then these things start getting built, except for that guy not being built, but he might have the mass in a few moments there. So that's going to be a lot, a whole lot of experimentals in the air. And it appears that Ares has got the same idea, dropping down a bunch of experimental air factor gantries, because they know that Team 1 is kind of weak in the air, except that Evil Gummy Bear has a large number of Geminis in the air, probably going to go for a snipe against Alpha Hex, which is the wise thing to do, because he is not all that well protected. He's got a couple of shield generators up. He's probably smart enough to get a bunch up because he should know by this point that air players are going to try to get a kill on him. And all those Geminis sneak by like there is like no there's no problem for drink 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 to get to Alpha's ACU. There's some air AA in the area, but those the shield on those Geminis are just so darn good. They are keeping those Gem those Geminis alive. I'm sorry I'm kind of stumbling right now, but this is amazing. We do both dropping bombs as well. This could be the end of Alpha. He is down to half health, but he is doing the pro move and moving under another shield and hunkering as he moves. So, it appears that Alpha Hex might survive this because he finally got his air units there in combination with the AA and his move to another shield and hunkering. He is able to survive. So, well played there, Alpha Hex. That was a Hail Mary from Team 1 and that did not work out in their favor. And I almost thought that Alpha Hex was going to be ejected from this game and that could have been GG for Team 2 and Team 1 may have claimed victory, but very well played from Alpha Hex to have responded so quickly. And we got a nuclear missile silo for Kitty just chilling right there. And a second one, that could be amazing. Like I said, dude, this is top player, everybody. These are top players, some of the best players in the game right now. And we are lucky enough to watch this and it appears that evil gummy bear drink 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 has maybe drank too much and is going to pass out of this match but he is trying desperately to take out these ac1ks with his gemini's but he's down in the red despite being hunkered and under his shield and down goes his commander but he is ejected in the an escape pod will he be able to escape he is down in low and health and boom down he goes drink 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 is down. Evil Gummy Bear has passed out and is experiencing one of the worst hangovers he has probably felt in a long time. An alchemical solution is left there by himself with these land factories as Nuclear Pizza and alchemical Solution are pushing Ares. But Ares has a large number of AC1Ks. Nuclear Pizza is walking in there. He's just chilling there saying, you know what, guys? Maybe not, but no, he is going for it. He's got to deliver that victory in 30 minutes or left. So his commander is in there. And a strategic launch going off. Where is it going, everybody? Where is that going? Is it, and Nuclear Pizza control k everybody. Because he saw that nuclear missile going for Alchemist Solutions base. And here it is, everyone. And Alchemist Solutions says goodbye because boom, right before it drops his base detonates so unfortunately they control Cade but at that point with a bunch of AC-1Ks in the air the very deadly AC-1Ks and three nuclear missile silos with a nuclear missile launch eminently to destroy one of their top players at the moment um, was pretty much GG very well played by all players I must say 
that was awesome there in the beginning from Nuclear Pizza where he was really trying to force that pizza on Kitty. And Kitty, I, I think it's Kitty Litter, has said no to that and was able to push him back. And he almost lost it with the joint attack from Pizza and Alchemist Solution, but he was able to hold tight for as long as he could. Alchemist Solution did a very good job at teaming up with Nuclear Pizza and really getting in there. He got in the Ares base, and if that if that snipe did not happen, it could have been GG for Team 2, for sure. And Evil Gummy Bear, a.k.a. Drink Drink Drink, did awesome with those long-range artillery stations. Those things are so deadly and so painful, taking out some gantries. And going for a snipe attempt, that could have been... That was very close to being successful, but unfortunately for him, Alpha Hex was able to defend against it. And it looks like an Illuminator was being built by Kitty Litter. That would have been able to show all things on the map, and nothing would be safe from Team 2. So Kitty Litter did an awesome job with his nukes and holding on very for dear life. So that was a great job, just like in World War II, dropping that bomb prevented more losses for Team 2. And Ares held on very well against those long-range artillery stations. And it was very sneaky dropping down some of those AC-1Ks. So very well played there by Ares. And a very good a very good survivor here. Of course, the UEF ACU is an excellent survivor at any rate. Alpha Hex right there underneath some... Underneath some shields, like he should be after that attempt on his life, almost being assassinated by Evil Gummy Bear and Alchemal Solution. So, unfortunately for Team 1, he was able to get under shields, and he was so good at hunkering. He did a step, hunker, bombs went off, then he stood back up and hunkered right before more bombs went off and got under more shields, saving his ACU. So, pro play there by Alpha X. So... Anyhow, everyone, be sure to hit up, definitely hit up, Alchemal Solutions Twitch.tv account. I'm sure you will not be disappointed. So anyhow, everybody, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and please leave me some comments because I would love to hear from everybody because I really enjoyed hearing from you in that last video. You guys are so cool and so awesome. Thank you very much for commenting that video, and please comment this video just like that last one, because that means a lot to me, and I like talking to you all. And feel free to share with your friends, family, and foes, because they need something interesting to watch as well. And as always, everyone, GG.